what made me fall in love with music? I would have to say it was my father's love for music. He, um, you know, growing up, that's what I seen, you know. Um, church, definitely. I grew up in church. Um, came up in uh, Amos Chapel, Father Baptist, Holiness Church. So in there it was like 50 million drummers, you know. And a lot of them were like my older cousins, you know what I'm saying. So just seeing, seeing them do it and just the sound from the drums, from music, just excited me. What made me fall in love with drums was the sound of the drums. It was different from everything else up there, you know? And to me, it seemed like the most complicated thing to conquer. So I'm always up for challenges and, you know, um, starting something and, and finishing it. So as a child, I would be sitting, you know, with my mom and just hearing like, yo, what is that? And then learning like the name of it, like drums just stuck out, you know? So everything in my family basically was, is a competition. You know, who's, who can do this better? Who can do that better? So I, I wanted to prove that I love the drums the most, you know? So I would go home and, and just pretend like I had a drum set on my bed, books and things like that. How was it to be part of these big artists? To me, you know, a lot of opportunities are a dream come true. You know, you can only wish and imagine that you'll be in positions to play for the artists that you love, to listen to just on the radio, just on, you know what I'm saying, Spotify, whatever, you know, and to actually be able to sit down behind the kit, do what you love for the person you love to hear is just like another experience. Um, you know, uh, I had the opportunity of playing with 4J Moss at this event in uh, Schenectady, New York. Um, I was given that opportunity through uh, my brother Charles Johnson, who's from up there, uh, got the phone call to do that joint. We were already there playing for, playing for my wife and um, a couple of other groups. And then um, it was like, yo, oh, we're playing for Joshua Rogers, who won the uh, Sunday's Best. So that's how we ended up playing for Jay Morris. We played for Joshua Rogers, and it was like, yo, can y'all sit in? And we sat in and just played. We did a couple of records off his CD and some, uh, some cover tunes. And then um, it was always my dream to be a part of a ministry that said something. That's when I got the opportunity to uh, MD and play for J.J. Harrison, like, you know, three or four times. Uh, most recently, a couple of more times than um, expected, you know. Um, but, um, you know, it, it, it's always a dream come true when you get, when you grow up listening to people and then you become one of those guys that are playing, you know what I'm saying? in and out for those people. Not no steady stuff, but you know, spot dates here, spot dates there. How was it to be playing for J.J. Harrison and Jay Moss? Um, it was a dream come true. You know, everybody has their dreams of who they want to play for and who they would love to play for. Um, I played for Jay Moss one time uh, in Schenectady, New York. You know, uh, we, the band was playing for Joshua Rogers and um, Jay Moss asked us to fill in while we were there. Playing for J.J. Harrison, definitely a dream come true. Um, he's one of my favorite gospel artists and uh, ministers. What is the meaning of a shed? That's a good question. Um, to me, a shed is a place of learning where the not so popular drummer can connect with those who are of higher rank and learn. Sometimes we take it out of context and it becomes a competition. But for me, that's where I learned the language of drums in the shed. 
looking at the younger generation, these guys are they're picking up faster. They're understanding things way faster than we did. Um, I, I want to be. I want to be a door for them to be able to do the things that I didn't get to do at their age, to be exposed to some of the good things of music that I didn't get to be exposed to at their age. Basically bridge the gap between younger and older generation. How do I look back over all these years? When I look back, man, I'm just grateful, if, if nothing else, I'm grateful and humbled to be playing drums, to be doing music, period. So many people and kids that didn't have this opportunity. Um, I've traveled the, the world a little bit, you know, not extensive, but I've been a couple of places, you know, Amsterdam being one of them. And every time I come here, it's a great experience. Not everybody makes it out the hood, you know? Um, I'm from Brownsville, Brooklyn, so only thing out there is violence, basketball, you know? Drums actually saved my life. Music actually saved my life. Because I would have been probably dead if it had not been for music and, and drums. Fuck it. What is your fucking? How you had your style, boss? Nice, because we can't close. 